What's up y'all back again with another quick video and um, I see a lot of YouTubers uh, do videos on this and I figure I do my own so today we're talking about first bike. First, what is your first bike? What bike you should get? What bike you shouldn't get? And what my first bike is and what is my opinion on the first bike conversation. So we're gonna jump right into it, let's go. video I did uh, a couple days ago talked about um, the retuning what numbers I'm getting now so I did get the bike retuned again I am seeing higher gains and um, um, big shout out to Rhino Motorsports for, for helping out with that also a lot of you guys reached out to them after you saw that video so they are providing uh, flash remotely so if you're able to get your ECU shipped to them they will um, do a custom flash for you based on what they did on my bike so all the information will be in the description of this video you guys ever had fresh kitchen that shit is good addictive expensive though all right so first of all let's talk about first bike so if you're in the market for a first bike, uh, and this is strictly my opinion, of course, um, a couple things should be taken into consideration. Um, of course, your expertise, how long you've been riding, what bike do you have experience with? Because in all honesty, a lot of people have been riding for years, maybe even dirt bikes as a kid, and they really just wanted to take, um, you know, the next step, getting their, their sports bike or whatever they're trying to get. Um, so a lot of things going to come into consideration when picking out a bike. Um, engine size is a big one, style, so you can go for a super bike or you can go for a standard, you can go cruiser, you can go whatever you want and all of those are going to have different engine sizes. Um, for me when I was picking out my first bike and before I give the spoiler, uh, when I was picking out my first bike, one of the biggest things that I looked at was really how it looks and I know that shouldn't be the first thing that you consider but I like the bike that I, I, I like like I like looking at it I like turning around when I walk away and be like oh that's mine I like the you know the how the headlights look so that's something I know a lot of you gonna consider as well so having said that my first bike <laughs> was a Yamaha R1 um, and got this in 2009 i believe so it's, i've been riding for a while now this is my second bike i sold the r1 after a while but um i really love that bike uh it had a shit ton of power too and for me the biggest thing when taking consideration the biggest thing is your maturity knowing the limits of the bike or feeling the limits and just starting out slow and make progression don't jump on a, a 1000 and then just go okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go all the way just take your time till you get used to it and then you can kind of make that progression so i think mine was a 2006 r1 and i'll go ahead and flash it uh, on the screen so you can take a look at it, it was gray love that bike um but at the time i had it for a couple years at the time i was just like okay i don't have time to ride it i'm in, I'm in school got a baby on the way and it's just it just wasn't um top priority at the time so went ahead and sold it um didn't have any accidents didn't lay it down well didn't have any accidents didn't lay it down however i did drop it once and um i was my pride was more hurt than the bike was so 
what happened was I, I was at a bike meet which kind of made the whole situation worse at a bike meet um it was Fort Lauderdale can't forget it and you know everything was good got there group of us got settled pulled into our spot and I went to um I I guess I thought I had to kick that down but I way didn't <laughs> So I went to get off the bike and it was leaning and it was at a point where gravity was winning and I just had to let it go. How are you? I'm okay. <sighs> Sorry. So like I said everybody of course head snap was going on. like my pride was hurt for days. Bike a little scratch on it nothing crazy but that was the only real drop knock on wood that I had on a bike and <laughs> and so that was my experience so having said that like I said take those things into consideration I wouldn't say I wouldn't say go out and get a, a 1000 as your, your first bike but you should also know yourself like what kind of person are you? <laughs> Are you a loose cannon? Are you someone who has your... Are you someone who who can self, I guess, regulate? Are you someone who can control your, your eager, your control your, your urges? Um, like, there's so many things in consideration, but I think essentially it's on that person. Your do's, your don'ts, your likes, the type of bike you get. Because even though this is a 1000, it's tuned way down, so you get more usable power out here in the street. But it's also not as quick off the line as some of those super bikes, as most of those super bikes. So maybe it's me being more mature now, but um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm not going to say go out there and just grab a 300 first, and, but just know your skill level, know your urges, know your tendencies. And uh, I think you should be all right. Just take it easy. Make sure you always have your gear and ride safe.